My name is Michelle Reed and if you're new to my channel you should definitely subscribe I upload twice a week but today I'm gonna to be doing a first day of school morning routine now I'm actually going to be a freshman in college so I'm not living at home but this is going to be if I were and like tips that I think help for first day of school if you're going to a new school or you're just nervous and all that kind of stuff these are kind of my top tips for that and I really hope they help you definitely like this video if you're going back to school soon and leave a comment down below letting me know when you go back to school because I'm super interested and that's pretty much all I have to say for this intro and I really hate long intros so let's just go ahead and get into the video so on the first day of school I usually like to wake up a little bit earlier just so I have more time to get ready and look nice and not be stressed out because being stressed while getting ready is the absolute worst and so I usually wake up at around 6 30 to 7 depending on when you start school and then I like to go and wash my face because I think starting with skincare is really important and it really wakes me up so I just like to use a facial cleanser and then I'm using my origins original skin essence I love this stuff it makes my skin really soft not sponsored or anything I just really love this product and I think it's awesome and it's really helped clear up my skin and then after that, I will usually hop in the shower after brushing my teeth. Um, I usually like to take my showers at night, but I find on the first day of school, I needed something to energize me and just to kind of refresh my mind. And so taking my shower in the morning is also really nice. Then I put on my super fluffy robe, which I love, and I go grab some coffee. I think it's really nice just to have a glass of water or tea or for me, coffee because I'm addicted um, while getting ready. I just think it kind of wakes me up as well before, you know, eating breakfast. I also like to turn on some music just to kind of pump me up. I have a playlist called Go To Vibes and I love these songs. For makeup, I'm using my Aveeno Positively Radiant Moisturizer. I think it's super nice. And then my Boots Number no. 7 Airbrush Foundation. It's super lightweight if you're someone who doesn't like to wear a lot of makeup. And then I'm filling in my brows with my Naked Shadow and then using my Gimme Brow over top. And then I am just neutralizing my lids with my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. And then I'm taking this peach shade for my Kat Von D palette and I'm applying this to my crease. And then I'm taking the kind of rust color and I'm putting that over top of the crease to define it a little bit. And then I'm highlighting with the cream shade. Using my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer, I'm applying this in a V motion underneath my eyes since I have pretty dark circles and I am just baking that with a setting powder. This really helps make your concealer last all day. You just leave it there for about five minutes and then wipe it off. While this is baking, I like to use my Kat Von D eyeliner and I'm just applying a little bit of eyeliner and I'm brushing away all of that powder. Using the peach eyeshadow that I used earlier, I'm applying this underneath my lower lash line and then I'm taking that rust color again. I'm applying it in the outer lower lash line and curling my lashes and applying my Rocket Mask I love this mascara. It is awesome and I really really like the combo of this eyeshadow look Then I am applying my hula bronzer to my hollows of my cheeks and then also my forehead a little bit And I'm using a coral blush and I'm applying this to the apples of my cheeks and onward And then I'm using a highlighter. This is MAC soft and gentle I love this highlighter it really really makes my skin look glowy and then I am just using this lipstick Which is 104 from Rimmel the Kate Moss collection and I'm setting everything with my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer, and that's it for the Supernatural look. On the first day, if you want to do something a little bit nicer to your hair, I really like adding waves with a hair straightener. Basically, I just flip the straightener a little bit at an angle towards the end of my hair, and you get this really nice, just casual wave. So it's not like you curled your entire head, but it looks super natural and just a little bit, you know, more done up for the first day if you're like me and like to kind of dress up a little bit more. And so I really, really like this hairstyle. I don't even use hairspray. I just let it fall naturally, and it's beautiful and soft, and it's my go-to one. One. I also like to pick out my outfit the night before so I'm not stressed out and trying to frantically decide what to wear the day of the first day of school. For breakfast, I'm just having some avocado toast because it is a classic. I really like to make sure I'm nourished, especially on the first day of school because you might be nervous and it just helps whenever you have a full stomach. I also added a banana and some raisins because I'm in like a raisin phase right now and I really, really like them. But that's all I had for my breakfast. This is what I like to wear for the first day of school. I think it's really nice wearing like a casual comfy dress but adding tennis shoes so it makes it more casual, not so dressy. 
This dress is from Urban Outfitters. It's one of my favorites. I'll have it linked down below. It's actually on sale right now, so definitely check it out. My watch is from Fossil. I love it. And then I'm wearing my favorite all white high top Converse, which are my go-to shoes right now. So that's it for my very casual outfit. And it's definitely one of my favorites. guys enjoyed watching this video as always if you're new you should definitely stick around and follow me on instagram and twitter and snapchat because i just opened a snapchat which is really exciting and it's fun and really different so you should definitely follow me on there and you should also go watch my last video it was a back to school clothing haul so if you want to see some pieces that i like for back to school you should definitely check out that video and i'll see you guys in my next one bye guys